Five questions we're gonna answer about the Rocket Max. By the end of the video, you'll know if you wanna buy it or not. Let's get started. So here's what I got when I bought my Rocket Max. So we're gonna answer these questions. What's in the boxes? What is it? Who is it for? Is it worth your money? Or should you even buy it? So to answer the first question, what's in the boxes, what you get is an adapter that you can charge the phone and play at the same time. And then you have your Rocket Station, which is basically an Android TV that you could hook to the glasses and take anywhere. And then you have a remote for this Android TV in case you hook it to a TV instead of the glasses so you can control it from the remote. And then you have the glasses themselves and you have the shades that come with them so you can clip them on and you can watch at night without any disturbances. Lastly, you get a very nice case. You can put the glasses in to protect them and has all the USB cables included for all these accessories. So what are they? They are basically glasses that you could hook to a phone, a Steam Deck, or an ASUS ROG Ally, to your console, or anything to watch content on a big screen right in front of your face. This is basically in simple terms, but they are called AR glasses, but in reality they don't have so many AR features. It's basically a screen that is fixed to your face and you can watch content on it. But what they added here to improve your experience is the Rocket Station. This you can carry around and charge it. It's basically an Android TV. You can download apps on it like Disney Plus or any streaming service, or you can download cloud gaming service and play on this on the phone without hooking your phone or anything else. And it has its own controls as you can see here, back button, home button, and here you can uh, navigate it through the menus and use it on its own device so it's very very neat so who is this exactly for so this is not vr gaming don't mistake this for vr gaming this is basically a screen ground for your face there is no vr or xr experiences or any ar experiences this is a screen they could use to play games or watch content on the go so if you're traveling if you're at home you don't want to use a screen that you have at home you can just pop these on and play or watch content wherever you are so since we identified the use cases and who the glasses are for do these glasses carry the best specs in xr glasses so let's discuss the specs for a bit about these glasses so first of all these glasses are very lightweight when you put them on your face you feel like they are normal glasses the normal sunglasses weight this weighs around 75 gram which is amazing for the technology they crammed into this. Secondly, this has two micro OLED screens inside of it. These are 1080p 120Hz screens of the highest quality possible made by Sony. These glasses give you a 360 inch screen from 10 meters. This is quite amazing to carry in your pocket and have at all times. But I notice when I use other XR glasses, they don't have adjustment enough for you to uh, focus on the picture. With this one, it has two adjustment knobs around here. They can change to focus on each eye. So each eye is focused differently to get the best image for you possible. And I can't tell you how amazing this is because I use a lot of glasses and they are not focused or they are blurry in one eye, especially if your eyes are a different eyesight or the adjustment or the situation of your eye is different from the other eye. So this is quite amazing. Also, you have a nose piece here that you can change based on your nose size and this will make the glasses fit perfectly on your face so what else is in the specs how about audio well there's two speakers here on the each leg of the glasses when you put them here you can hear the sound coming kind of from behind your ears it does not have a lot of uh, noise leakage so people around you won't hear what's going on in the glasses unless on full blast if it's on medium sound, nobody can hear it, but you can hear it here because it's gonna vibrate through to your ears. Also, you can easily adjust the volume from the volume marker here. And also there's a brightness button here that you press. There are five adjustments for brightness. But how about the build quality of these glasses? Well, these glasses are made fully out of plastic. If you want a lightweight, you need to use plastic to make the glasses very light. But I gotta say, I'm not a very big fan of the design of the glasses. They don't look the sleekest glasses out there. When you use the shades, yes, they look a bit nicer, but Without the shades, they look kind of a little bit like a bug. But the point is, they sacrificed the looks for the comfort and the quality of the screens and how you look inside the screen. So if you, they made this a little bit different, then you're not going to see the screens as good as you can see them now. So the specs that we discussed are top of the line and the design is really good. But is it worth the price? So these glasses by themselves are going for $299. But if you upgrade for the Joy Pack, then you get more. For $449, so $150 bucks extra, you get the Joy Pack, which has the glasses, the Android TV, the remotes and also the adapter for you to play and charge at the same time and by the way this is part of the black friday deal this ends on monday so cyber monday 27th of november after that it will go back to the normal price so are these glasses worth your money and to answer this is quite simple if you're like me you have a steam deck or you have an xbox 
or you like to watch content most of the time of your day just like me then these glasses are perfect for you so for the steam deck i can show you here you can connect it quite easily one cable connected to the steam deck and then connected the glasses and then you can enjoy a huge screen right in front of your face and this saves you a lot of battery on the steam deck because you're running two tiny screens instead of the big screen on the steam deck you can turn off the screen on the steam deck and use these screens and you save a lot of battery when you're gaming on the go for example on the plane or something like that as for the xbox it works for the xbox and the ps5 as well but you need an adapter so this adapter i bought from amazon for around 20 bucks you buy this adapter and you connect to the xbox and boom you can play the glasses on your xbox or the ps5 without any problems and if you're crazy about watching content on the plane or on the go you can use your phone a simple samsung or android phone you can connect it from the usb-c to the glasses and you'll get samsung decks or if android phone you will just mirror your screen and so as for the iphone and if you don't want to hook your phone you can just use this will give you four hours of screen time you can take it with you and watch on the plane or on a car ride you just put it on plug it in here and plug it to the glasses and then you can watch content as much as you want so for these use cases it's very good for you but we gotta say the glasses do take some getting used to so when i started playing with these glasses i was playing warzone on my xbox for extended periods of time i started to get some headaches sometimes i get motion sickness because i'm not used to a plane like this but with time you get used to it and you're fine but with watching movies it does not give you any motion sickness because you know having any fast paced movement inside of a movie just watching and relaxing but for gaming it will take at least a week or two for you to get used to to play for extended periods of time let's say three or four hours if you play for an hour it's fine so before i give you a definite answer if you should buy it or not we need to also talk about how the screen feels right in front of your face so does it feel like you're holding the phone cl close to your face or does it feel like a big tv for me it feels like a big tv um, right in front of, on the wall and then you have some vision here so you can see under it so you, you can there you need to situate your eyes a little bit up for you to see the screen under you can uh, do daily tasks you can grab things you can see everything under it without the shade i can show you the screen now right now as you can see you can see some stuff behind it so it's a bit distracting when the background behind it is bright but you can use the shades when that happens but if it's a dim background you're fine you can play and uh, enjoy at the same time so you can interact with others around you at the same time you're playing the game or watching content so this is a demo of how this screen would look so uh, i showed you from inside the glasses but this is how the screen looks right in front of your face as you can see here it's quite big and it follows the face around so when you turn around it follows your face around this is not a spatial display so it's not gonna stick to one place in the room and then you can turn around and just converse with people next to you or watch tv it's uh, fixed to your uh, field of vision so whenever you turn it's turning with you so you need to keep that in mind so here is the final verdict should you buy these glasses for me, I think you should buy these glasses if you enjoy watching content or playing games for long periods of time or if you like to game on a big screen. For those who game on a monitor or a smaller screen, these are glasses are not for you. They are definitely worth the money, especially the Joy Pack. This has a lot of value, but if you're comfortable with using a small monitor or gaming on a small screen, then the glasses are not for you. This is for big screen gaming or big screen viewings, for example, for movies on YouTube. So if this is what you like, gaming on the big screen, watching movies on the big screen, these glasses are definitely for you. So before I end this video, you can grab these glasses now on Amazon with $80 off for the Cyber Monday deal ending on the 27th of November. After that, we'll go back to normal price, which is also still worth it with all you get. So that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like the channel, subscribe.